Hello, welcome to episode 9 of the B-League and our special non-FIFA endorsed World Cup draw special edition, Jules. That's right, hashtag Fernanda Lima. She, of course, was the star of the show. Let's have yeah. a look at uh, the World Cup host at work uh, in the early hours of Sunday morning. Oh, she had an embarrassing pimple near her lip there. Did you notice that, Jules? And look at this guy drop the ball deliberately in the hope that she'd pick it up, Sam. That is just inappropriate. But it backfired, though, because her husband picked it up. Now, this is where she came to prominence, yeah? Yeah, the KY Jelly commercial that uh, went to air in Brazil. And we're not joking, that is actual fact. Well, it's a logical progression. You go from KY Jelly to hosting World Cup functions. Sometimes the other way around if you set flatter. <laughs> she was very beautiful, though. Mm, and yeah. it was very distracting when you were actually watching the draw. And I think towards the end, Fernanda got a little bit annoyed at it. Let's have a look at the latter stages of the draw. Well, yeah, she started to put subliminal messages in the cards she was holding up. She said, no one's reading this. Then she's like, oh, my eyes are up here. Then she really lost it. Because by the end, the end of the broadcast, she ended up just going with this. Stop looking at my boobs. It's a storm a decap though, Sam. Uh, really. Very good, Jules. I've been <laughs> sitting on that all year. There's a lot of technology we have here at Fox Sports. Uh, mm. We're very fond of the hologram, as you all know. Yeah, and there's a new one that we thought we'd implement around this World Cup draw because Ange Postacoglu has been, well, he's been putting on a brave face. He's been quite happy and very positive about everything. Hey, everything's great. But the truth is... Everything isn't great. We've got a thing called the translator. That's Very right. good. It translates. You're telling me about the storm in a decap? <laughs> you did this with the translator. <laughs> what it does is it translates Ange's genuine thoughts. And this is what he was thinking. So you'll hear what he said and then look below to see what he was actually thinking. No, no, it's great. It's, uh, it's a World Cup and uh, we're playing against the best nations in the world and uh, our group's going to be really exciting. So, um, no, it's, uh, it's a massive challenge and... Uh, yeah, looking forward to it. It's going to be great. And really challenge ourselves. And beyond that, as I said, um, in a group full of good footballing nations, not just strong nations, but good footballing nations, um, you know, I want to see us play some good football as well. I think we've just revealed the uh, game plan for the entire tournament. That's our blueprint right there from Ange. Forget buses, we need to park a road train. <laughs> Seriously, yeah, a point. fleet of them. Uh, I'll see your translation mm. and raise you an interceptor. Oh, so what, what's an interceptor, Joe? Uh, it's a very high-tech machine that uh, intercepts the thoughts of one set bladder. Oh, an interceptor. Yeah. Very good. Very Most good. of which are with, uh, with the police at the moment. I actually rolled a little bit of it during the World Cup draw. Let's take a look. Mr. Blatter, how do you feel today? I feel very good. Pero hemos... We made a deal with, the, with Madam President and we will start this party. Yes, FIFA did a lot of things to the Socceroos, none of which are appropriate for a PG time slot, Sam. Mm, yeah, I'm not a part of that, Seth. If you're watching, that was all his doing. <laughs> yeah. uh, let's focus on some positives, though, because mm. in the media, all over Twitter, everyone's saying, oh, we're not going to get through, we're going to struggle, we're in the group of death. What about some positives? We've got this, positive Socceroos fact. These are all legit. Number one, we've never lost a World Cup final. Holland have. What a joke. We're already ahead of the Dutch. You know it. Spain, Chile and Holland have won zero Oceania championships between them. We've won four. Never beaten a Micronesian country at all, Van Percy yet to score when Robbie Cornford is in defence. Mm -hmm. It's what drives him, Sam. And what about this one? Socceroos have never lost a game in a tournament where the draw is conducted by a Brazilian KY jelly model. So what an omen that yeah. is straight away. Omens, uh, we could say, Sam. Next one, we're alphabetically superior to all the other teams in our group. We're at top of the table until we play a game. Yeah, we are right up there. And this one, Socceroos players have hairstyles from this decade. So already we are killing Spain in that department. They're certainly not the world champions of hairstyles. You heard that, coil? Unless they're really a Vidmas playing, of course. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but he's not. He's just in the coaching staff. It's fine. Uh, it's time for the 40th most popular segment oh. in the B-League, the Juggle-Off. We have a mystery Perth Glory player for this Juggle-Off, Sam. <laughs> Perth Glory famously have the Glory Gorilla over there. This guy wants his job. We're going to reveal who he is in a moment, but first of all, let's see if he can juggle. All right. Three, two, one, Juggle-Off. Here we go, mystery Gorilla. Oh, what? <laughs> That's match-fixing. We didn't even give you a banana. All right, let's reveal your identity. <laughs> Hang on, he's bringing the game into disrepute. <laughs> Controversial. Steve, Steve Pantelides. How you going, guys? What, now, was that intentional? No, it's very hard to say out of this. Are you tanking? Is he tanking <laughs> in the juggle-off? Um, I think this is my last year of my contract, so I'll be the gorilla next year. <laughs> oh, 
Shane. And he's gone to the bottom of the leaderboard. Even Ali Abbas said that time was embarrassing. Shane Pantelides, Shane. Let's have a look at a little bit of the A-leg action uh, from the weekend, Sam. It's great to see fans mingling. Take a look at this from Blue Tongue Stadium. A solo Mariners fan amongst the Sydney FC fans. It's great to see. Very brave. I like that. And there was a similar thing with the uh, Wellington Phoenix game over the weekend. There was a solo Wellington Phoenix fan doing uh, exactly uh, that. Amongst the Glory fans? No, no. There was just a solo Wellington Phoenix fan. <laughs> there he is uh, by himself. He started singing Who Do I Sing For? Oh, yeah. I Sing For Phoenix. Then he did a Mexican wave that w which went shorter than that juggle-off we just watched. I love the fan. He's got his arms fanned out to make himself as big a target as possible. <laughs> plenty of room. Good on you. Uh, plenty of room. It's time for the Golden Cornthwaite Sandwich we give out for online excellence. Yeah. We've got a runner-up this week. It features a look-alike uh, from a Simpsons character. This is from Bob Varankovic. Nice work, Bob. We're calling that a uh, Vukalike because it's Danny Vukovic. You can keep them coming through if you want to send some more. And the winner of this week's Golden Cornthwaite, well done to Sage Prime. Last week on the show we had uh, Gary Van Eggpun and he's taken on a life of his own because now he's even reviewing our World Cup draw. Have a look at that. Spain, Holland, Chile all represented. Terrific job by her. So here is your personalised message. <laughs> Sage Prime. All because you made Egg Pun World Cup. Congratulations, Chef. Yes, Sage. Mm, a golden corn flight is on its way to you. So good night, B-Leaguers, and good night, Fernanda, Fernanda Lima. Lima. This is the outro song for...